Why did a mysterious flat-wing carrier aircraft without a disc suddenly appear on the deck of the Fujian ship? Does this accidental discovery mean that an unprecedented revolution in China's carrier aircraft system is in the making? While the world's attention is focused on the electromagnetic catapult test of the Fujian ship's seventh sea trial, this aircraft, which resembles the KJ-600 but has cancelled its redome, quietly unveils the deep layout of the Chinese Navy's strategic transition to the ocean. On March 18, 2025, the Fujian ship sailed away from Shanghai's Chongqing Island Wharf as scheduled to begin its seventh sea trial. According to a navigational warning issued by the Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration and confirmed by multiple sources, the core task of this sea trial has shifted to the full condition, catapult and landing test of the carrier aircraft. It is worth noting that in the latest deck photos circulating on social media, in addition to the previously known J-15T, J-35 stealth fighters, KJ-600 AWACS, J-15D electronic fighter, and trainer 10J catapulted type, appeared a 26-meter wingspan, back without redome flat-winged aircraft. Its aerodynamic shape is highly similar to the KJ-600, but the iconic disc radar antenna has been cancelled, the belly line is more fluent, and the hatch structure has been strengthened, which is similar to the design idea of the USC-2, Greyhound, transport aircraft. This strategy based on the same platform derived from multi-mission models, not only reduces the cost of research and development, but also to achieve the modular development of the carrier aircraft system, when the early warning aircraft need to be maintained. The same platform of the transport aircraft, can quickly fill the gap in the logistical supply. The wisdom of this, multi-type, is the wisdom of the modern aircraft carrier combat system efficient operation of the essence of the system. In fact, the strategic value of fixed-wing carrier-based transportation aircraft is far beyond the imagination of ordinary people. The U.S. Navy, for example, C-2, Greyhound, is not as dazzling as the F-18, but bears 90% of the carrier's material transport tasks. Its speed of 800 km per hour and 4.5 tons of weight, so that the carrier battle group can be away from the land base of 1,600 km away from the still maintain a sustained combat capability. On the other hand, China's current straight 20 helicopters have a maximum range of only 800 km and a load capacity of less than 1 ton which makes them difficult to deploy at sea. Fujian ship, if really equipped with similar C-2 transport aircraft, will completely open the carrier formation of the logistics artery, from emergency medical evacuation to anti-submarine equipment delivery, from the missile parts transportation to personnel rotation, these seemingly mundane tasks chain, precisely to maintain the carrier's continued combat effectiveness of the lifeline. More critically, this type of transport aircraft, can also be converted into an electronic reconnaissance platform by carrying different mission modules to achieve an exponential increase in battlefield situational awareness. Behind this transformation, reflecting the profound transmutation of China's naval strategic thinking, when the Fujian ship with electromagnetic catapult system to realize the efficiency of 160 daily carrier aircraft mobilization, its combat radius has broken through the first island chain restrictions, but the real blue water navy not only needs a sharp spear, but also to build a solid shield. Reference to the French, Charles de Gaulle, aircraft carrier experience, its deployment in the Indian Ocean, 70% of the carrier aircraft landing, and takeoff sorties actually used for logistical support. The Chinese Navy obviously realizes that to support the presence of the carrier battle group in the Western Pacific Ocean, and even further afield, it must establish a complete oceanic security system. The appearance of this suspected transport aircraft, perhaps a sign that China is copying the U.S. Sea Mobile Base model, carrier as the core, with integrated supply ships, medical ships and transport aircraft group, the formation of self-sustainability stronger maritime combat system. From a technical point of view, the development of a transport aircraft based on the KJ-600 platform has significant advantages. The six-bladed composite propeller and digitalized flight control system adopted by the aircraft have already verified their reliability in the catapult test of the KJ-600. If converted into a transport version, its 10-ton payload would be sufficient to carry standard containerized supplies or light assault vehicles, which are critical for humanitarian relief or amphibious landing support missions. What is more noteworthy is that this kind of platform development is forming a trend in China's military industry. The J-35 stealth fighter has already spawned a two-seat command model, 
and an unmanned wingman guided model, while the J 15 series has developed multifunctional variants such as electronic warfare and partner refueling. This gene editing mode of equipment development has enabled China's carrier fleet to rapidly expand its mission spectrum without increasing the number of platforms. The emergence of the new transport aircraft and the synergistic effect with the other carrier aircraft of the Fujian ship are also worthy of attention. J-35 is the CCTV official announcement of the world's strongest carrier aircraft. Its 0.01 square meters of radar reflective cross-sectional area and 1,350 kilometers of combat radius has suppressed the US F-35C technical advantages, KJ-600 early warning aircraft through the gallium nitride active, phased array radar. The detection range will be extended to 500 kilometers or more, and Trainer 10T catapulted trainer not only bear the pilot training mission, but also able to mount 3.5 million aircraft. The aircraft will be able to carry 3.5 million passengers. The Trainer 10T catapult trainer not only carries out pilot training, but also can carry 3.5 tons of weapons to carry out sea strikes. This trainer attack dual mode design greatly improves the mission flexibility of the carrier aircraft squadron. When the transport aircraft to join the system, the carrier formation will form early warning aircraft to control the overall situation, J-35, penetrate the defense line, transport aircraft to maintain supply, coaching aircraft flexibility to fill the position of the three-dimensional combat network. Its comprehensive combat power far more than simply superimposed on the hardware performance of the arithmetic level of growth. Of course, the emergence of new models also brings new strategic challenges. When the Fujian ship has the ability to deliver fixed-wing transport aircraft, its need for overseas logistical support points will rise sharply. Referring to the role of the U.S. military's Diego Garcia base in supporting the control of the Indian Ocean, China's facilities in Djibouti and Gwadar port may be upgraded to comprehensive support bases with aircraft maintenance capabilities. This carrier transport aircraft overseas bases of the Trinity layout not only can extend the radius of operation, but also the formation of strategic deterrence of the superimposed effect as the United States through the C-2 transport aircraft to Guam rapid delivery of the Marine Corps contingent demonstrated that this rapid response capability itself is an important bargaining chip in the strategic game. It is interesting to note that the evolutionary trajectory of the Fujian ship's carrier aircraft alludes to the logic of China's military industry's top-level design. From J-15T to J-35, from KJ-600 to the new transport aircraft, each model follows the basic platform plus mission module development concept KJ-600 radar system can be transplanted into electronic reconnaissance equipment, J-35 stealth coding technology, can feed the development of unmanned aerial vehicles and the modular design of the transport aircraft's cargo compartment and even for the future of unmanned shipborne transports to provide the technical reserves this technology tree type of cumulative innovation so that china's aircraft carrier equipment system can be rapidly iterative but also to avoid the risk of u.s equipment intergenerational fault as wang yongking the chief engineer of j-35 said in an interview each of our models is not the end, but a ladder to the future battlefield. This silent change will eventually set off shock waves in the deep blue frontier of the future. With the Fujian ship expected to be officially commissioned in the second half of 2025, this new aircraft carrier battle group, which integrates stealth strike, electromagnetic attack and defense, and ocean replenishment, may redefine the rules of the 21st century sea power game.